This video is about how to create new columns in data frames using the mutate function in dplyr. And we've already done the setup, so we've loaded the dplyr library, and we've loaded the surveys table into memory, so we can see that we have surveys over here. And so now we're going to create a new column based on data in the surveys table. And the way we do that is with the mutate function, M-U-T-A-T-E. It's a function, so we use parentheses, and then we provide it the argument. So remember, the first argument to any dplyr function is the name of the table we want to work on. So that's surveys in this case. And then the additional arguments to mutate are any columns that we want to add, and those come in the form of the name of the column that we want what we want the name of the column to be, and then how to calculate that column, what we want to put into it. And so, for example, we have hind foot length in this table in millimeters. Let's add the hind foot length column, uh, but let's convert its units and let's make a hind foot length column in centimeters. And so we might say, so we want to say the name of the column, so let's say we want to say hind foot length, but now we'll attach the unit to it. So we'll add the underscore CM for centimeters. And then we say equals to, and this has to be an equals sign. It can't be an arrow. And then we're going to say we've got it in millimeters, so we want to divide by 10. So we'll say the name of the existing column, hind foot length and then divided by 10. Okay, so we've got the name of the function. The first argument is the data frame that we're gonna work on. And then we're saying that we wanna make a new column named hind foot underscore length underscore centimeters, which is equal to the current hind foot length column divided by 10. And so now if we run this, Oops, I got an error. Don't worry. Uh, we'll see lots of these this semester. Let's just go down and read it. Uh, it looks like object hind foot length is not found. Oh, I've probably got a typo here. So this is actually hind foot underscore length. And now if we run it and scroll up, we'll see that we've got our old table, and then ours run out of room to show columns, so it's shown up to the edge of the old table, uh, but then it will wrap around uh, and show the next set of columns afterwards, and so what we can see is we now have a new column, hind foot length in centimeters, uh, that occurs as the last column in the data frame. Now it's important to remember that when we use functions in dplyr, they don't actually change the table that we're working on. They create a new table. So let's go up here and look at our surveys table. We'll see that if we scroll over to the right-hand side, there is no new column. So surveys hasn't been changed at all. So this is like other calculations uh, that we've seen in R where they create something new, and so mutate returns a new data frame. Select does the same thing. And if we want to use that data frame later, then we have to store it under its own name. And so uh, in this case, we would come up with a variable name. So we could call it surveys modified, and then we assign that to this calculation that we've just done. And so we could actually just copy this line here if we wanted to and paste it. And so now surveys modified will be equal to this calculation. You can see I'm starting to go off the screen, so I'm going to use uh, a little trick here in R that lets us make things easier to see. And I'm going to go ahead and hit enter after the comma here within the function. And this will work exactly the same uh, as if they're on the same line uh, because it knows because of the parentheses uh, that they're all part of the same statement. 
And so now, if we run this function, we'll see that we've got a new data frame called Surveys Modified. And if we click on it and slide over to the right, uh, we can see that it contains our new column, hind foot length in centimeters. If we wanted to, we could also save over the original object, and that would allow us to actually replace surveys with the new version. Uh, and we would do that uh, by saying surveys is assigned the data frame that comes back from mutate the table we want to work on. I'll hit enter here to make it easier to see. Hind foot length in centimeters is equal to hind foot underscore length divided by 10. And this will now change surveys. And so we can see surveys has now been changed to include the new column. So that's the basic idea behind mutate. Uh, we use this function to add new columns to a data frame. Mutate, like all other dplyr functions, creates a new value, a new data frame, and returns it. And so if we want to store it for later, we need to assign it to a variable. Is that pedagogically useful? I'm not sure that it is.